Hey everyone, it's Jared here with Eat Press Nation. We just had our friend Donish Kasamali from SilkySocks.com stop by the office and talk to us about growing your sublimation market with wearables. Now we had some great talks, great laughs, and he showed us how to sublimate some really awesome sublimation blanks. So here's a look at some of our moments together. Let's show we gotta them. preface this by saying that I hear it so often that sublimation, sublimation is just mugs, man. Mm -hmm. Bro, does that question bother you? Does that or, bother or you? Or just when you think sublimation apparel, you might think it's gonna be like nasty to wear. It's just oh, gonna look. Yeah. It's just gonna look cool. Yeah. But when you put it on, it's gonna be like, ugh. Yeah. That's, you know. Or you think hard goods, like you said, mugs, yeah. mouse pads, keychains, stuff it's, like that. As far as apparel's concerned, sublimation usually gets a bad rap. Usually. Usually. But not. But not with. Silky We're changing socks. that up. But dude, silky socks is changing <laughs> the game. Let's take a look at what Donish and SilkySocks.com have created. Can you walk, look, you guys see this table, right? You see that we're yeah. jam-packed with, with awesome stuff. Why don't go you walk for us it. through, Jerry, man? Go for okay. it. Pick that one up. What Dude, is that? This is a sublimation sports bra. Sports Check that bra. out. Not Sublimated just the front, sports bra for the ladies. But the back. And you can see the whole thing. You can customize the whole thing. And it's just super soft, like just feeling the fabric. I don't know. This is the front, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I, I don't wear these. I, I probably <laughs> should. I'm kind of chubby, but. Yeah, that's yeah, the Yeah, anyways. That's the back with the strap. All right, go next. And then we have the sublimation women's briefs. Ladies' uh, bikini underwear, Bikin we yeah, call that. Yeah, there we go. Look yeah. at that. Fully sublimated in full color. This is fantastic. I know these ones. We got the booty shorts. The ladies' boy shorts. Look at there this, coming go. strong for the ladies. Dude. Mr. Silky knows you gotta supply the ladies and show love to the ladies, and then the guys follow. And this you one's start for with me. the ladies, right? This one's for me. Oh, that's the men's boxers, so don't worry, Fully. fellas. We kept you guys in tune. Yeah. But like, I was huh? telling Jared before the live, this started off as white. A yeah. white oh. blank, and we subbed that. So, you know, that is dope. And then, of course, as the name implies, Silky socks. Socks. We got the socks, guys. Yeah. We got the sublimation socks. These are the socks. fully sublimated streetwear socks. These are the athletic socks, which Jared and I were talking off camera. The cotton bottom sold him when he first heard about yes. it with the comfort. So we have this sock style and athletic in about 14 different colors now. Yeah, you you got the pink ones right here. Yeah, yeah, you just sublimate the upper half. Right. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I don't wanna skip ahead too far, but when I first uh, heard about Silky Socks, it's because we had tested some socks here, okay. and they were all white, and they were all polyester, and I tried them, and they sucked. Uh. <laughs> and then that led me to Silky, and I think that's the first time I heard about you. Okay, okay. And I, like, like he said, I was just sold. Cotton bottom, you guys, these are so comfortable. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Dude, okay, now this is a product I didn't know existed until Silky Socks came by. So why don't you explain yeah, that to us Yeah, these are spats, also mm -hmm. known as cleat covers. So very popular in, in sports and activities that people wear cleats, uh, such as lacrosse, football, soccer, or even band. Yeah. So it kind of prevents dirt from getting oh, in your wear cleats. cleats too, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, it also just gives you a cool little uh, swag to your outfit. Yeah, and like... Which sublimation's all about swag. Talk so. about a, an awesome upsell to sports team. If you guys are doing like vinyl and you're sublimating jerseys, or uh, you know, n name and numbering on jerseys, sell them some cleat yeah. covers, man. So. This, okay, I haven't announced this live yet uh, <laughs> to the world, but yeah, my wife and I are expecting. Ooh, and congratulations, dude, thank you. I wanna buy buckets of these, dude. <laughs> these are so cute, Infant I'm gonna cry. Socks. Hey, these, Infant socks. We just had a release on these. This is our newest product. Sold out within an hour on Silky Socks. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. So I'm expecting more of these on in first week of April for a second drop, but yeah, Sharks and Silky Socks community, you guys know, these went fast and these are super yeah. hot. What's cool about these is they have grip, grippies that. for the kids, yeah. for the babies. So you, sub, you can sublimate right over the grippies. Uh, I, I know everyone's, all you guys are probably done with this, but in some states and some places, still required. And I have, I have a story about how the face mask pushed us into all of this. So oh, yeah? we're oh, gonna talk about yes. that. Yeah, yes, the face are. mask has a lot of significance in the Silky Socks storyline here. I bet you guys are wondering what this is. <laughs> oh, I, I wanted to be drama with that. Pantalones. Dude, look Ladies at this. Ladies leggings. Let's get it. This is crazy, and this is completely sublimated. Yeah, the so. The entire thing. This was all white before, Mine and we blown. sublimated the whole thing in sections. So it gives you a, an, you know, it passes the squat test, 
full, has a great wearability. Uh, it is a little difficult to f get the perfect finish in the crotch area, but other than that, it's a uh, super fun, easy item Dude. to sublimate. Or not easy, but super fun and uh, cool item to sublimate. Yeah, and then if you're not doing the whole thing, maybe you, you're cool keeping them white, you could do something, do something down the leg. Yeah, yeah. That's super easy, yeah. right? Yeah. Dude, oh, show them that one. The dog tanks. So cute. So these are tank tops for doggies. So we developed a little shirt for your pup. They come in size extra small to 7XL, I believe. Seven, so it covers like a, a nice Saint wide Bernard, range. What is that? That'd fit like, I don't know exactly, but I've had customers post that they fitted like a 100 pound dog. And oh, okay, yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. So nice. It, we try to get pretty big up there. Dude, and then, okay, I wanna say, okay, this last one, we're <laughs> saving that for last, you guys. No, we're not. No, we can't save a that. A sublimation t-shirt, you guys. This isn't just any sublimation t-shirt. We're gonna show it in detail in a few minutes. Guys, this is soft, all right? I know everybody complains that sublimation t-shirts are super thin or they're uncomfortable to wear. Look, I'm telling you guys, this is gonna shut a lot of mouths, all right? And I say it as respectfully and as lovingly as possible. Soft, it's so soft, stretchy, yeah. And it's so easy Cotton to sublimate. Cotton feel, yeah. yeah. And rounded, we're gonna be showing rounded. them a live demo. We're gonna demo. be showing them that. Just tell them what you said when, you f when I first oh. brought it to you today. Yes, okay, you guys. I have sublimated many, many a t-shirt, right? And the problem I think with a lot of sublimation t-shirts is that they're not designed for sublimation. So like you have your gilded um, performance wear, you have like Augusta stuff. Uh, dude, I've tried everything. I've tried the, I think Hanes, it's either Hanes or Fruit of the Loom. Anyways, gone down the line of polyester t-shirts. Of course, Sublevy, Sublevy was the best for me, it was. But still, it was super thin. No shade to Sub-V. I love you guys a little bit. Um, and then Silky Socks came by and stomped and curb stomped all those guys because this T-shirt, like, look, I'm gonna tell you. And he's gonna. We're gonna talk about this in detail. The armpit. You, you think that's a small detail? You don't know how hard that is to sublimate yeah, an armpit definitely. of a T-shirt. Yeah. And my favorite part is the the soft cotton feel. Uh, and, yes. and thickness it allows me to literally wear this all day, which yeah. I've, I've been sublimating t-shirts for years and I wouldn't wear them. I would just make them and sell them to our customers. So Same. now, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Man, can, can we do some socks? Yeah, we want to make socks. Let's make some socks. Okay. Yes, sir. We got, socks. by the way, and this is where I come in, we got the Black Series. Uh, 16 by 24. Now, I love this because I see this in Donish's videos, uh, his Silky Socks videos sometimes, along with our signature series presses. Um, today we got the black series, uh, which I love. It's a 16 by 24, and you're gonna see, we're gonna need all 16 by 24 of those inches uh, for those underwear in a little bit. But first, what do we got? What do we got here? Okay, so let me just test the pressure on your press real quick. Uh, I'm gonna lay down some craft paper. This is just standard brown uh, craft paper or butcher paper. Nice, and just so you know, I'm not texting. I am pulling up the comments on my phone. Okay, I think the pressure's a little high, so I'm gonna kinda adjust it here. There we go. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing, Jared. <laughs> Donish is the resident pro. Okay, that's a little better. You want about a medium pressure because the socks do have some thickness to them, uh, which we're gonna put down the two socks here. If I was doing, uh, a thinner item like face masks or underwear, I would use a heavy pressure. You want the black inners or the uh, white? Oh, we're doing we'll purple. We'll go purple, okay, yeah. There we go. So just so I know, the camera is just this one right here? Yeah, just that one. Okay, yeah. so here's the blank sock we're gonna make, guys. It's our Purple Foot Athletic Sock. So again, it's a thick cotton bottom, and the top is uh, the part that you wanna sublimate. Uh, so the purple does not need to be printed, but what's nice is now you just focus on printing that area. These are the transfer sheets we're gonna use. This is a little Fresh Prince of Bel-Air inspired design we call Fresh. I love them. I know you I like that. Jigs, this is a huge one guys, jigs. So we do supply the jigs at silkysocks.com. The reason you wanna use a jig when you're doing production is because it stretches the sock where uh, it allows you to get a nice smooth flat print as well as when you wear it, it'll 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 give you a nice wearability, and it won't stretch and look all all uh, like it won't distort the design. It'll actually be what I call pre-stretched during production for a nice wearability. All right. So now I've loaded the first one. I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and straight here. And real quick, Donish, while you're loading that one, Joseph mm -hmm. has a question. He says, can you explain if we should be using a different sublimation sheet than the ones we use for apparel? I think he means. 
that craft paper you got there on bottom? Oh, okay. Um, to be honest, if you use the craft paper at the bottom for shirts, that's fine too. Okay. I just you just want to change it for every single shirt. Every every yeah. one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but if something else works better for you guys, like w what paper were you mentioning that you guys? Oh, so we use we use, and it's funny because I was at, we were talking about this. I see Donish using craft paper, and we always use parchment paper. And from what I understand, they're both going to get you good results. Yeah. So if. On that part of it, you can interchange whatever, like if it's butcher paper, craft paper, parchment paper. Uh, I'd encourage you to try and see what works best for your setup. Um. Oh, this is another great question. Now, I know the answer, but I want to ask you. Jackie Gabriel is asking, is there a template to do the socks? Yes. So if you go to silkysocks.com, under the resources section, you'll find all of our free templates there and you will find the one for the athletic socks and it'll show you like a file where it has two socks laid next to each other, just like I'm doing here in production. And then you set up your artwork to put the logos and stuff down um, on your file and then it'll have additional bleed area on the left, right, top, and bottom. And uh, you can basically just use that file to set up your artwork. Nice. One, I, one oh, tip ahead. though, sorry, is uh, when, you do, when we do this bottom part, you just wanna cut the transfer sheet where you have minimal bleed area here, mm -hmm. uh, which you'll, you guys will see right now. So, am I ready to go ahead and press this? Yes, sir. All right. I, I spy a silky shark in the comments. Someone was asking a question about how to design, and then Tay Bumfist says, there's a design lab on the website. Referring to the Silky Socks website, right? Yes, so uh, there's a design lab on silkysocks.com which you can also upload your designs and use, and that's awesome for like making mock-ups that customers can see. Nice. So here we go. I've covered the, 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 the transfer sheet, top, left, and right, and bottom. And I'm simply going to press away here. <laughs> so we've got it set to 400 degrees and 30 seconds. We'll see how that comes out. Yeah, 30 seconds, not 60. Uh, depending on your ink, you could probably get away with about 30 to 35 seconds. So some sublimation inks do require 60. Uh, so you'd want to test that on your side, but I'd highly recommend you guys test your print with 30 to 35 seconds. See if the colors come out vibrant. If it does, then you know you're good to go and you don't need to spend that extra 25 to 30 nice. seconds. And you're all about eliminating steps. Yeah. I know that's a big thing for you. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, the reveal. Oh, oh, dude. That's fire. Dude, those colors Ooh. look incredible. Dang, let's show the camera. That is nice. Look at that. And then, uh, that real quick, nice. the bleed, the part that does bleed over into the cotton heel, that'll wash out. That'll wash out. With yeah. the, uh, it'll With each wash, it'll get lighter and lighter, mm -hmm. probably after the third or fourth wash. But then this, this stays just as, and that's this, what I love about Yeah, that. this will stay forever because it's dyed into the fabric, dye yeah. sublimation. Now, if that thing is bothering you and you really want to eliminate it more during this first step, you could use uh, heat tape. Okay. And do right a line on. of heat tape. Actually, or, we have some heat tape here, I think. Do you mind if we try that for the second, just to show uh, it? Sure. Go ahead. Cool. So yeah. my next step is flip, switch, and roll. Flip the socks over, switch them, and roll up the, the edges. This technique is huge. This helps you eliminate the line on the sides. We have, actually have a song that goes flip, switch, and roll, eliminate <laughs> the line on the sides. It's like a DMX uh, Rough Riders anthem. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, flip, switch, and roll. So, so don't flip, forget that, guys. Roll. Flip, the, switch, the and roll. roll. The roll is so key, because if yeah. not, you're gonna get that white stripe along the side, right? Yeah, and that yeah. won't look too good. Looks... The only time you don't need to roll it is if you have like a white background, if, you're oh, just, if it's just a logo. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing a background like this, you definitely wanna do the roll, just a little bit so you can see your design up facing towards you, and then, uh, Here's the next one here. Oh, here oh we said quick. we're gonna tape right. I'm just gonna tape one so you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna come in, by the way, just if anyone's- Trying to get it nice and uh, just snug right up to the white part. There, there we go. go. Jared got the magic hands. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right. And of course, we're using this on the HPN 16 by 24 inch Black Series heat press. One of my faves. I love it. Yeah, these are nice presses. I love the size. The 16 by 24 size is just uh, is just a, a winner for me, and I'll explain why. 
All right, so with the 16 by 24, if you wanted, you can actually put two pairs of these athletic socks uh, mm -hmm. one in one press. Oh, okay. Because you can fit one on the left side and one on the right side. And like as you see me having the bottom feet hanging off, so mm -hmm. that's why this is a great size. The other thing which you guys will see later is when we make an underwear, the, bo the boxers fit perfectly in the 16 by 24. Nice. Whereas if you had a 16 by 20, you'd need to probably do a two press action. For okay. The, for, the, for that item. Yeah, I think we have to credit Silky Socks with all of our 16 by 24 selling so fast. <laughs> all right, let's see how that looks. Oh my gosh, Bam. dude. So now we had a, the heat tape at the bottom. Should I just mm -hmm. peel that away? Yeah. Do you usually wait or do you? Nah. Yeah. Ooh, so there you so go. Clean. So that did help. So you can see there's a little more yeah. bleed on this one, which I didn't, which we didn't put tape, and this one has less bleed. So. Yeah. So Dude. then uh, I'm gonna do a peel, smooth peel at the top and a unload at the bottom, just okay, like let me that. Try smooth peel at the top. Yeah. And then unload. Oh, that's warm. Nice and cold. Yeah. Warm and I like to wait bottom. about 15 to 30 seconds. You don't want to wait mm -hmm. like too much longer than that. But mm -hmm. let's hold that up. There's the final Dude. result. Looks beautiful, huh? And the the camera is not deceiving you. The colors <laughs> really are this bold and vibrant. Yeah. Like, and that's 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 what I love about sublimation. You're never gonna get colors like this without it. Absolutely, like, yeah. So and then this soft, like you can't feel it. Yeah, and this was that wow moment when I saw the print on that come out like this. The first yeah. time I did that, it was just like nuts, dude. And so this is, uh, the interior is also purple, okay. which is nice. So now when you stretch it, it'll give you like a purple inside instead of like a nasty white, like a white line showing. Oh yeah, because sometimes when you stretch, yeah. and if you've seen this before, when you stretch a white only product, like, it just, I don't know, it looks funny. Yeah, like if Having the purple under just, it just, This one's know. not that bad because it has white. Mm -hmm. It has white in the design. But let's say it was like a solid uh, black. Uh, for black, this is key. So this is the black foot, black interior. So mm -hmm. if you have a solid black design, this black interior right here is going to is gonna save the, the look of the socks. Versus this when one, people, which is pure white. Yeah. So when people stretch that, they're going to love the how it shows black through, and uh, it'll give you a nice wearability when you're wearing it. So again, Dude, two I things, that, I, like I told you, I focus on printability and wearability. Yes. If it passes printability and wearability, I'm, I'm comfortable in it. My, yeah. my t test, test uh, subjects are comfortable. It prints amazing. Go. It's yeah, approved. go for it. Okay, so now we've come to my favorite part, the part that I've been waiting for all day, you guys. You, 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 you could probably even market this as wrinkle-free because I've been bunching this up intentionally <laughs> and it still comes out nice and flat. But you guys, we have like the holy grail of sublimation blank apparel and that is this incredible t-shirt. I really wish you guys could all punch into your screens and grab this shirt so you could feel how soft it is. Yeah. Like, and it's not just the outside, it's the inside where it's important, it's nice and soft. Yeah, it's so thick. Tell here, us about this, Here's man. the blank. It comes in a bag, a Ziploc bag like this, right? It's got the print on the back, the size sticker here. Uh, then, so with the baggie, it's nice because when you're done printing, you can bag it right up. And it's got a tear-away tag on the inside, so you can tear that tag right off if you want to put your own branding on it. Oh, and, and then it's just, you just sub the inside tag. It's the easiest tag you'll ever make. And then it's engineered to lay flat. It has a, a round curve on the armpit. So instead of like having the traditional shirts sort of had like a up, like a kind of a curved, like a wrinkled thing when you yeah. lay them flat. But I just wanted to round it about with enough room where it's breathable on the armpit. And that was, you know, one of the major steps. The other major step was making it a thick fabric, so it's a 6.8 ounce. Yeah. So that's quite thick. Most shirts are about 4.5 ounce mm -hmm. in the sublimation world, maybe five ounce. And then they're super thin, and super thin, super thin, and see through, and then the colors bleed to the back, like. Yeah. You don't want a four and a half ounce. So literally I was thing. doing the see-through test and I yeah. was like, <laughs> I gotta make sure I can't see the TV and stuff like that. Yeah. So that was huge. And then the other thing that was huge for me was uh, the softness. It has to feel good when you wear it. Yeah. 
you know, people say cotton feel, because mm -hmm. co we like cotton. Everyone likes wearing that soft cotton shirt. So yeah. sublimation shirts just weren't that fun to wear. But yeah. this one truly, yeah. I could wear it all day. Yeah. Uh, I've been wearing them since we developed them and testing them and it, it doesn't bother me. It feels that softness. We've had people say, uh, people described them as buttery soft. Yes. Well, it's, see, it's smooth, but it's not like a shiny, um, I don't know how to say it. Sometimes like that polyester. dazzle fabric? Yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah. That, it's not that sporty dry fit or dazzle jersey That's material. That's what I'm looking for, yeah. It's no, more of a casual t-shirt. That's it, what we're going really for. It really does yeah. look and feel like a cotton t-shirt. Yeah, and then I've had ladies say that they're using them as night shirts to sleep in. Nice. <laughs> so If you can sleep in it, then yeah. you know it's comfy. So, uh, we're going to hit a print on this. Let do it. Yes, please. Okay. This cool. is what I've been waiting for, you guys. And I, I was, we, again, we were talking like before we came on camera. He's like, I'm a maker. Like, yes, I do this stuff here on camera with Heat Press Nation. I love giving tutorials, but, you know, after all that, I love going home and just making stuff. And I love my sublimation printer and I love t shirts, but I could never really marry the two for myself. I know some people are okay with polyester t shirts, most people are not. I was not until I found this t-shirt. You guys, like, I'm not kidding. Like, it's, it's a great freaking t-shirt. Sorry, part of my language. Thanks, Jerry, <laughs> appreciate it. It's a great t-shirt and, and I'm super stoked. Uh, I remember, I, I don't remember exactly when Donna mentioned that he was developing a t-shirt, uh, but once I found out, I was pumped and then I got to see the sample in Long Beach earlier this year and now we're here at the Heat Press Nation studios actually doing a sample, Pressing so this it. is really huge for me. Uh, and I hope you guys, those of you guys who have sublimated polyester t-shirts, you know how big this is. So I would encourage you, head on over to silkysocks.com and then uh, get your wholesale account. Definitely want to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this down over the press like so. I'm going to let the collar hang off a bit there. And I, uh, I've got a transfer that's going to go right here on the front chest. Nice. And I don't need to pre-press it, again, because there's no wrinkles here or anything. Now, if I was doing an all-over print, you could see that you would just print something right over the armpits there, mm -hmm. and you'd lay it down just like that. And I'd encourage you guys, don't pre-press just for the sake of pre-pressing. This, mm -hmm. this is my philosophy. Yeah. I pre-press if I see visible wrinkles. Got if it. I don't, I'm just like, let me jump into it. Cool. There we go. And then I will lint roll in this case, just uh, because I'm doing a white background. I want to make sure it doesn't pick up any invisible lint and uh, change the color. But if you're doing an all over print, you could actually skip that step. Okay. And you don't want an excessive lint roll either. So, yeah. all right. And here's the transfer sheet. It says can't guard me. So we'll go with that one. Nice, nice. And when he says all over print. Um, the shirt we just showed you where the whole t-shirt is imprinted on, that, that's, that's an all-over print. All right, let's get it. So I have it set to 400 degrees and 35 seconds. 35 seconds, see heck how that yes. Comes out. Okay, do so you, we're just gonna stay on that camera. What do you usually sublimate, press at when you're sublimating? Me personally, yeah. I'm doing 385 for like 45 to 60 seconds. Okay. So I'll go a little bit lower, a little bit higher, and that's because is that for apparel items too? Yeah, well, that's for that's for non-silky T-shirts. Okay. So that's for just these random like I'm I've been, I'm testing on like a Gildan performance, okay. just whatever run-of-the-mill T-shirt. Gotcha. I try to drop the temp as much as I can because those are not meant for this. Gotcha. So they'll scorch. They'll it's horrible. It's horrible. Okay, time is up. Let's see how it came out. Ooh. Yes. Nice. Yes, please, dude. Those colors. Looking good, huh? That looks freaking fantastic. Looks like it might have picked up a little bit from uh, the previous press or something, but the color on the transfer looks amazing. All right, so let's bring that back over here. Yes. There is the finish there, guys. So again, main, what I love about this is it maintains its fluffiness. Yeah. You know, it's it's like now that I pressed it, it's not yeah, like actually, losing stretch or anything like that. And there's no press marks, by the way. That's another thing that's really key. Like usually when you're pressing with a heat press on the polyester shirt, you'll get a fat square on yeah. everything. 
This, dude, this is looking really good. It's not scorched either, by the way. That's another thing. When you're using these press these shirts that are not designed for sublimation, that area will flatten out and it'll scorch out. Yeah. And it looks ugly as heck. So, this looks fantastic. Yeah. So there you go. Some of our favorite moments from our time with Donish and the Silky Socks team. We want to give a big thank you to our friends over at SilkySocks.com for making this collab happen. You can find all of those sublimation and blanks and more at SilkySocks.com. And for all of your heat press and sublimation printer needs, head on over to HeatPressNation.com. Once again, I'm Jared with Heat Press Nation, and thanks for watching.